so hi everyone welcome back to my channel and this week i am gonna try to attempt to finish to finish some of my developmental edits i know i won't be able to finish all of them but i just want to be able to um get at least to a decent chapter i think i want chapter three i want to get to chapter five or chapter four by the end of this week so wish me luck on that and um, I'm so happy that I got my, um, my, some of my sketches back from my, from my graphic designer. It was so nice to see the, um, sketches and how it looks and everything. Um, she showed me my main character and her best friend in the book. And I was so happy to look at them. Um, I wanted some minor changes to be done to her, um, to my main character's hair because I noticed that her hair was in the afro, but I wanted her hair to be a bit longer. But um, even if we could do braids, um, I was going to be interested in doing that as well. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to update you all on. And hopefully I can show you more of me doing the developmental edits and where I'm on at, where I'm at in the progress of me doing those edits. So yeah. So hi everyone, um, I just have a question for you all. So how do you find, how do you get more subscribers and more engagement on your vlogs and videos and stuff? Because I've been trying for the longest time to get more engagement and stuff. And yeah, it's small progress is better than no progress at all. But um, I just be thinking to myself like, if I'm doing enough as a YouTuber, and then it gets me a little bit down because I'm like, I'm putting a lot of effort into my videos and it may not seem like it, but I do try my hardest to like make my videos and try to publish them every week since um, the year started. So like, I just need help and I just want to know like, is my thumbnails good enough for you? What do you think I can improve on so that I can be better? in making videos and stuff and what would you like to see in my vlogs so that i can do them would you like to see more of the books that i'm trying to read i was i was trying to read um the book um home going but i stopped i don't know why but i'm gonna keep on reading it and and give you more and more progress about my reading and to um, give a summary of the book and tell you how i like it or not but um yeah, I was trying to also listen to more audiobooks as well, but I don't know. But I just feel a little bit discouraged because, you know, like, you feel like as a YouTuber, sometimes if you're a small creator, you feel like your videos is not reaching the wide audience and like you would want it to. And so that kind of makes you get a little bit down and think to yourself, like, hmm, am I doing enough as a creator? And then you start comparing yourself to other people, which you shouldn't do. I just, my goal is to reach 500 and then 1,000 subscribers. But my overall goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you know anybody who's interested in wanting to follow my journey of me becoming an author again for the second time. Or you like my personality <laughs> and you just want to see me shine and, and be the best that I can be then subscribe if you want to and yeah so hey everyone um i'm just back with a, a video about my um about my developmental edits and i'm working on the scene where fua reaches out to her which um her church best friends charlotte and josie or josephine but Josie for short, and they having a conversation about how college is going and about life and stuff like that. And I'm getting to the text message scene, and I'm trying. I'm kind of struggling with it because I'm not. I don't know how to make their personalities pop, but I'm going to try, and I'm trying my hardest to do something like that. And I, I, I'm gonna read what my editor said she said this could be expanded on 
expanded even though it's a text discussion let the reader get a taste of Josie and Charlotte's personality here too to help stand them stand out usually text messages are shown in so she's basically saying that I should make their personalities pop but I don't know how to do that I mean I, I can throw in my little flavor you know <laughs> but um I'm still having issues with that but I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going and keep trying to do better because uh, I've been I've been slacking. So everyone, um, I just wanted to like let you know that I've been slacking for the past couple of days. Like I've been wanting to do more edits to my book and also even work on my other book, um, my other work in progress, Project Beautiful. But I just have been lacking in motivation. And I feel like a bit overwhelmed and I don't even know why I keep on saying I'm going to do something and not following through with it. But I'm going to keep myself accountable and this video is going to show that by the end of this month, I'm going to try my hardest to get somewhere with my development edits. Right now, I'm working on them and I know it's a big beast in itself doing everything but I know that with time and, pro and patience I'm gonna get through with the edits but I I didn't know that so much work goes into writing I mean editing a book because like I've been doing the edits I think I revised the the book like twice or three this is my third time going to work with the edits the first time was met be me by myself the second time was with a beta reader and this third time is with a professional editor so like I'm kind of I know that this is bringing a bit a new perspective on my book and I'm reading it for as for I don't even know how many times I'm reading it for but um I think like my fourth time reading my book over again so like I'm kind of like, annoyed and exhausted but I'm gonna keep on going and keep trying and I'm not going to let myself get in my head and tell myself that I can't do something that I'm passionate about. Because this story needs to be heard by someone and read by someone. And I know that even if I don't think that I'm the best writer, I know that my book is going to come together and it's going to be well, it's going to be done and well orchestrated to the best of its ability. And I know that in October, I'm going to be a really happy with myself if I really continue on with it. But if I don't, I'm going to be really bummed out. But I'm going to keep trying. So wish me luck and yeah. So in this video, you see me showing you what um Microsoft Word and I'm on the scene where um I'm working on um the text messages between a fool and her best friends from church of um Josie and Charlotte so let me know if you want to end up video about how I use Microsoft Word on my iPad so in this clip you see me um working on the edits the developmental edits to my book be um becoming a full OSA and like in the book and so far in the book she's having a conversation with her friends um Josie and Charlotte and it's it's going good like they they're talking about how college is going for um a four and also like they want to they want to know what the if she's dating someone or not and she ends up telling them that she is dating someone and how they react to it is really funny <laughs> but um yeah that's where I'm at on at in the developmental edits and I have never done really much of a text scene between people before. So it's, I didn't know that there was a format that you had to do the text scene in. So like, I'm trying to get that all figured out. And with that is, is kind of hard a little bit because I'm like, how, how I'm thinking, hmm, how do I bring out the, these people's personalities? in the scene so that you can know who they are and how and get a little bit of their personality and their sass and all that stuff inside a text message thread but i don't know like 
I'm really happy that I'm able to do a lot of things with my book and that I got the help that I needed from my editor. She's like the, the best ever. And I really am appreciative of finding her through another YouTuber. But um, it's I'm really happy about like, working on it but it's really a bit overwhelming because i'm like wow i have to finish this for te- for how many more chapters for like seven more chapters so i'm just thinking to myself like am i in over my head or something about it but um i just want to give you a backstory about how did i end up coming up with this book becoming a full essay so like before my um i had um I have a book out now called um, Drive Positivity, and I realized that I wanted to help people get through hard times just like I was able to get through a hard time in my life. So then I made that book. And then when I noticed, um, I was also like working on, um, I also noticed that I wanted to make another book, but I didn't know what, what it should be about. And my sister, my older sister was like, Mary, you should make another book. And I was like, huh? And then I ended up thinking and thinking, I'm like, let me talk about some aspects of my life and, and make it into a fictional book. And then I ended up doing that. And that was like the best decision ever because like everything came about the way I wanted it to in, in terms of like, how the book, how I wanted the book to come out and like how some of the situations that is going on in the book can help other people who's probably in college or probably going through mental illness or stuff like that. So like, I just wanted to be an outlet for other people to lean on and to realize that they can find themselves in a book about, um, about mental illness, about coming of age and being, true to who you are in the midst of everything that's going on in your life so like yeah um I'm really happy about um (laughs) me trying to come out with a book it's it it hasn't been easy and I know that sometimes I really want to give up and sometimes I'm really thinking to myself like Mary you're way in over your head but I have to realize that like there's a purpose for everything and there's a message that I have to bring out so I have to bring this out in October and I hope that you all keep me accountable for that and be like, every now and then be like, Mary, how far have you been in your book? And like, I'm going to try and like, talk to you all about my progress every week more and tell you more about what I'm going through and how my thought process is. But I need to like, keep myself accountable and t- and keep me accountable. And also I can keep you accountable too, like to make you feel like, you can also do the same thing with your book if you come out with a book as well. And it's very possible to come out with a book in a few months' time. I mean, I wrote the book a while ago, like maybe in 2022, 2023, and then now I'm trying to publish it. So I'm really happy about that, and I just hope that um, more goodness comes from the book and like people are able to be uplifted by the book and the message. And for those who are, it's not meant for them, I guess it's not meant for them. Cause I know that there's a lot of people that don't like a lot of books and there's people that like a lot of books. So I just wanted to like allow myself to like get out of my comfort zone and just publish a book that I'm, that I'm, that is near and dear to my heart. So yeah. Um, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below um, your work in progress and how you feel about it and what you're working on. And also don't forget to comment and share this video with your friends and family because maybe somebody might want to be in, um, influenced by um, me. <laughs> and yeah, with that being said, bye.